Thank you. Good morning, Chairman Schatz, Vice Chairman Murkowski, and members of the committee. My name is Catherine isom Claus. I'm Taos Pueblo, and I'm the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Policy and Economic Development for Indian Affairs at the Department of the Interior. Thank you for the opportunity to present testimony on four bills before the committee today. The Biden administration recognizes that water is essential for people to lead health, healthy, safe, and fulfilling lives on tribal lands. Water is among the most sacred and valuable resources for tribal nations. The Tribal Access to Clean Water Act of 2023 seeks to help fund water infrastructure projects in tribal communities by increasing federal funding, including $90 million over five years for the Bureau of Reclamation's Native American Affairs Technical Assistance Program, or TAP. TAP provides technical assistance to tribes to develop, manage, and protect their water and related resources. The program has supported a broad range of activities, including water needs assessments, improved water management studies, water quality data collection and assessments, and water measurement studies. Work under TAP is carried out in different ways, sometimes by reclamation under cooperative agreements, working relationships with tribes, other times tribes carry out the work themselves. Alternatively, reclamation may provide training to enhance tribal members' knowledge and expertise in the use, protection, and development of water resources. The department's committed to further developing this program in the coming years, including with the FY 2024 president's budget request of $23.5 million. We appreciate the interest and support of the sponsors of S2385 and TAP and as partners in efforts to address the longstanding water crises that continue to undermine public health and economic development in Indian country. Um, next up is S2868. The Lower Sioux Indian Community is a federally recognized Indian tribe organized under a constitution and bylaws adopted by the community's membership in 1936 pursuant to section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act or IRA. In 1937, the community was issued and ratified a corporate charter pursuant to Section 17 of the IRA. In a November 2021 resolution, the community stated that it has not used the charter since ratification in 1937 and it serves no function. The IRA requires that any charter so issued shall not be revoked or surrendered except by act of Congress. S2868, at the request of the community, would revoke the charter. Consistent with the administration's support for tribal self-determination and self-governance, the department believes that the decision whether to maintain or revoke such a charter should ultimately be the community's and therefore supports S2868. S2796 would confer jurisdiction to the United States Court of Federal Claims to hear, determine, and render judgment regarding the Miami Tribe of Oklahoma's land claims under the Treaty of Grouse Land and would remove legal or equitable defenses based on the passage of time, including statute of limitations. The jurisdiction conferred to the United States Court of Federal Claims expires unless a claim is filed under paragraph one of S2796 by the tribe within one year of enactment of the legislation. The bill extinguishes all other claims to title of the Miami Tribe of Oklahoma or any member, descendant, or predecessor in interest to the Miami Tribe of Oklahoma to land in the state of Illinois. The department needs to better understand the claims by the Miami Tribe of Oklahoma and the impacts of this legislation on those claims and any remedy sought by the tribe. The department therefore takes no position on the legislation at this time. And finally, S3230, the Winnebago Reservation, was established by the Treaty of March 8, 1865, in exchange for cession of the Winnebago's tribes' lands in the Dakota Territory. However, in the 1970s, the tracks identified in S3230 were acquired by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. S3230 would transfer the identified lands from the Army Corps of Engineers to the United States to be held in trust for the benefit of the Winnebago tribe. The Department of the Interior supports S3230. This bill is in line with the administration's commitment to honor treaty rights, respect tribal sovereignty, and support the right of tribal governments to acquire land and trust in furtherance of their self-determination. Chairman Schatz, Vice Chairman Murkowski, members of the committee, thank you for the opportunity to provide the department's views. Thank you very much. Chairman Hart, welcome, and please proceed with your testimony. 